All right, we're gonna uh, do some lipo charging here. Um, I've got the iCharger Duo um, here on the left side. I'm gonna be charging these three 5,000 milliamp um, packs at 40 amps, and then here to the right, I've got uh, um, a number of uh, some two cell lipos that I'll probably be charging at like seven and a half or nine amps or something. Uh, these I fly with my blade 130 and uh, these pulse packs go in my um, T-Rex 550 or my uh, 700. So here you can see I've got my uh, my parallel leads for charging as well as my parallel leads for my, um, my uh, balance chargers, balance leads. And the same thing over here, I've got this 2S <clears throat> this UMX uh, board here from uh, Progressive RC. That's what's uh, connecting all of the uh, the 2S lipos. <clears throat> Those are going to be running on the right side of the charger, and over on the left side, um, I will be charging the uh, the 6L lipos. And you can see here. The R charger is recognizing the uh, various voltage um, that it sees on the uh, three pulse packs, as well as the voltage and information it's seen on the, uh, the right side. In order to see the batteries right now, I don't have my batteries in lipo bags. Again, highly recommend these. Keep your lipo bags uh, readily available. You can get these as well as at Progressive RC stick your batteries inside it and still watch them. These lipos are dangerous. I've had I've had brand new battery go up in flames on me. So I'll go ahead and start the charges. Maybe I can keep zoom this zoom in on this and keep my fingers as best out of the way. <clears throat> so I'm selecting on the left side here. Um, a lipo charge. I'm going to tab through it. It's in auto mode right now, so it's going to select. It's going to sense that these are six cell uh, lipos. And simply over here, I'm going to turn this up to 40 amps. And I'm going to go ahead and hit start, uh, start on that. This is connected to a, uh, or being powered by a uh, 2000 watt Meanwell, uh, also from Progressive RC. And you can hear it starting up. And then here on the right side, uh, these are 450 milliamp. Uh, 2S battery packs here. So I'm going to go ahead and let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I can charge those at a 1C rating around 2.2 amps, uh, 2C rating at 4.4. Uh, these are little lipos, so we're not going to strain these guys. We're going to go ahead and start the right side of this charge. And we're going to do this at 4.4 amps. Again, I recommend putting these batteries in lipo charger, lipo uh, protection bags, unless you're going to sit here and watch them. 
and unless you have a fire extinguisher readily available. Try to keep the desk in the area or wherever you charge these. Uh, very often I charge these outside, to be very frank with you. Um, you know, try to keep flammable stuff away. Um, I'm here watching them, so some of this junk is here. Keep anything that's expensive away. You know, you don't want to have additional batteries up here that can that can also go up in flames if something happens. Just just be as safe as possible. So you can see on the left side, uh, my charge is right at 39.8 amps. Um, charge on the right side is right around 4, 4.4. I do recommend um, I prefer these pigtails to the. I've I've uh, also used the uh, paraboards as well. I'll go ahead and grab one of these. Here's a paraboard with uh, some Dean's plugs on them. I've got these for EC5 as well. Um, they work the same way. I mean, there's there's nothing any different than them with the exception that when you get all these batteries, these lipos kind of trying to plug down in this area, eventually you, know, you, you just can't see what you're doing and you can't, you can't hold on to these ends here. They're, they're on the board. So you're trying to push these balance leads in here and it'll always happen. I mean, eventually you will reverse one and you'll get the burn. You know, it'll, it'll puff up and start to, start to melt. So, you know, lipos and melting just don't go good. Um, I like these better because you can always grab the end. You can tell exactly where the where the uh, tab leads are, so that you can make sure to always insert your balance leads on the correct side. And these packs are expensive. You know, you don't want to you don't want to waste time having to go trying to get ends refitted and redone. Here's our five, uh, our five uh, Nanotech 450 milliamp batteries being, being blown up there. You can see the DC input on my. Uh, on my eye charger in the lower left hand corner, the uh, 48 volts being powered by the, uh, the meanwhile. And it's still running right at 40 amps. It's, it's, uh, it's pushed 3,000, almost, almost 3,500 milliamps into that pack in five minutes. And on the right side, I've got a, uh, still got my 2S charge, one at four amps. Now, generally when I'm at home, um, you know, certainly not in the field, I recommend charging at a 1C rating. You know, if you've got the time, take the time. I'm only doing this for demonstration purposes. This is really a, uh, my field charger, you know, when you're there all day long with the guys, you got five or ten packs to fire up. This is the first time I've actually heard both the fans kick on in the uh, in the dual charger. That charger will do uh, I can't remember if it's 40 amps on each side. I know it'll do 70 uh, if you combine both of them with a wide splitter, you combine the balance leads and, and uh, basically combine both both sides of the chargers, and both sides of the charger into a 70 amp charger, which is pretty impressive.
So you can see the uh, it's right around 21 minutes uh, to balance out. I think it was seemed like it was about 10 or 12 minutes to do the original char original charge, and then about another 10 minutes to do the balancing um, of the entire pack. So we'll go ahead and check some of these batteries here. I've got a couple testers I use. I've got the uh, uh, the Hyperion uh, EOS entry here. What I like about this is it really quickly shows you the percentage utilization of the entire pack. Only problem is it doesn't really show you very easily if you've got a bad cell. Um, this is the cell log. Uh, I do like it for that reason. Very easy, easy screen to see if you've got a problem with uh, Unplug the uh, balance leads first. You just don't. You don't want uh, any power from these batteries. Trying to go through that little balance lead if it, something does happen. So leave your power connectors connected first, and then. Uh, So there's a 24 point uh, 58 volts on this 6 cell here. You can see all the 6 cells are uh, capped out there. Nice and even. 24 point, uh, looks like, oops, just going to look at the individual cell voltage here. And you can see that right around just over 4 volts 4.09, 4.1 um, on each of the cells there so anyway uh, and of course on the other side we still have our uh, 2S LiPo charge going on our <clears throat> so that's it um, if you have any questions, drop me an email or uh, find me on Heli Freak or RC Heli Nation.